I want to share with you a true story from my years living in Israel around Passover time. A mother named Leah decided to let her boys play with their handmade bow and soft arrow toys a few minutes before getting them into bed. Three boys in one room. One of the boys was showing his brother how to shoot the bow the right way with the bow pointing downward. But as he was about to demonstrate, another bumped into him, lifting his arm up and causing him to shoot the arrow. The arrow flew across the room at the very moment that the third brother, Elishama, happened to turn around to face his brothers. The arrow struck him in the eye Filled with horror at this freak accident, Leah and her husband rushed their son to the hospital. He was immediately sent into emergency surgery to try to save his eye. But when the surgery was over, just by looking at the surgeon's face, the parents knew the outcome. Elishama had lost vision in his left eye. The next day, as the boy was recovering from surgery, he asked his mom from the hospital bed, what am I going to do now? The mom dreaded the question, but was not surprised to hear it. She knew it was coming. She'd been thinking about a suitable answer all night long. She had been thinking about what she could tell him, how she could comfort her child. She didn't talk to him about bearing the burden. She went over to God's side of compassion, goodness, and grace. Taking his hand, she said to him very gently, Elishama, God created you with two eyes, one to see the world with a good eye and one to see the world with an evil eye. Right now, God has given you the privilege to be able to see the world with only a good eye. Elishama considered this for a moment, and then he said, boy, I'm sure glad the arrow didn't hit my good eye. Human beings are God's language, my friends. And that mom was being God's language, not only in comforting her child, but by accentuating the positive in a dreadful situation through acts of grace, even when we don't do anything to deserve it. Remember that the first miracle of Passover was not Moses splitting the sea. It was God's act of grace upon hearing the groaning of the Hebrew slaves and responding to their cries like that mother saying, I am with you through it all. Tonight begins the only Shabbat that falls during Passover. And I invite you to join us for soothing services right here at timemphis.org or via Facebook Live at 6 p.m. Central Time. This is Rabbi Micah Greenstein wishing you health and safety and shalom one day at a time.